Well, hey y'all, welcome to Talk About It Tuesday. Today we're gonna to talk about pressure cookers. These are the two that I have. I have the Instapot three quart pressure cooker and I have the Crock-Pot brand pressure cooker that is a six quart. And I'm gonna show you how to use them and I will give you my opinion on which one is the best. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how I make pinto beans from dried beans in there, but I'll put a timestamp in the show notes if you just wanna fast forward to that, to the pinto bean part. Let me tell you first, I do like them both. I cannot pick a favorite brand, but I can pick a favorite size, and that's this larger one. I first bought this smaller one for the cabin because it's just the two of us. And I quickly learned that it's not large enough because if you want to cook a whole chicken to make a chicken salad or whatever it is, or bone broth, this is not large enough. It's large enough for rice and, and different things like that. But I recommend if you have the room to store it, to get a larger size. There is a larger size than this. If you have a large family or if you like to make a lot of bone broth at one time and you have a place to store it, there is a larger one. But this is my, my favorite because of the size. Now, whenever you are using your Instapot, One of the differences between the two, that lids open in opposite directions. And so I'm always, one goes to the right and one goes to the left. But I'm gonna show you what the inside of these look like. Now they both do have the detachable cord that just plugs into any wall outlet. And I did purchase one of these to boil eggs and I have found that I don't need it. Um, I should not have wasted my money on it so, but I, I just keep it in there because I might, that's distracting, let me move that. They both do have a grate that stands up off of the bottom. This is the main difference between the two. The Instapot has a stainless steel pot. The Crock-Pot brand has a non-sick surface. And if you don't care for a non-stick surface, then you probably don't need to get this one. They are both easy to clean. If you like your things to be spotlessly clean and not have any, after you've scrubbed it to smithereens, if you don't like um, water spots and different things like that, and you need to do a little bit more of a cosmetic clean when you're finished, this is, it. This is what you need. But if you don't mind water spots, that does, that does not matter. So whenever you are using, I'll just use this small one here since it's easier I can get it in and out without hitting the bed hood. When you're using the Instapot, I'm just going to say Instapot. Um, they're both pressure cookers, but it just comes out Instapot. You have a fill line. Let's see if I can find it to show you. Here is a, there's a fill line right there. You cannot put anything above that. You have to have fluid and you have to have at least a cup of water or chicken broth to, to put in here. So you would put your, say if I'm gonna cook um, hard boiled eggs, which is one of my very, very favorite things to do. I would put one cup of just tap water in it with my grate and then I'll just lay my eggs in here. I put the lid on, I seal it. Now you know I'm back with here, so there we go. And I seal it and I put it on sealed. Now on the vent on the top, there is a, let's see, how am I gonna show y'all this? You can turn it one way to vent and you can turn it the other way to seal. You do want it to seal so it can hold the pressure in there. So you would put this on seal and then you would set, you know, it's kind of like on, on the cooktop, you have your very favorite burner, no matter how many burners you have. I have a favorite one and it's beans. I just push beans and then I adjust my time of whether I need to cook it up, cook it longer, 
for uh, cook it for a short amount of time. And on boiled eggs, I cook it on high for six minutes and then I naturally let it release. Now what that means is you don't touch this little thingamajig up here. You know, in the old fashioned uh, pressure cookers, they had that little wobbly thing on the top that would dance around. This replaces that, but you would let this naturally release for six minutes and then you would carefully with a wooden spoon or whatever you had handy, just toggle that to the venting and then the steam will come out. Now, whenever you do that, um, I try to, whenever I set this up to cook, I put this part where it's not underneath my cabinetry. So whenever I let it, the steam out, it goes away. Now, I know you can buy a little dragon head that's cute and you put on top of it, but that's just another gadget. Uh, sometimes I'll just take a hand towel and hold it up and just to encourage the steam to not get on my, my painted cabinets. I've not found that to be a problem. I would let my eggs naturally release for six minutes. I'll turn this to vent, let all the steam out, completely out, and then wait a couple more little minutes there and just make sure it's completely out. And then you open it. Now, whenever you open a pressure cooker, it's just like when you open your pressure cooker to can. Now, these are, don't can in these. This is not what this is, y'all. You always raise the lid away from your face uh, because there's hot fluid and there's hot liquids and I've never had an issue but I don't care for all that steam up in my face so I just open it away and there is with the handles you have on this both sides you can prop your lid and there'll be some moisture in here and that will drain down in this little trough and on the back there is a, a little clear thing that will catch that and it's very easy to clean and I'll just put it in the, in the sink when I'm washing dishes. And then I'll take just a clean Q-tip and get down in there and really clean it well. And um, that's about it to cook an egg, y'all. Oh, whenever you take them out of here, you put them in a bowl of ice water for five or six minutes. And that stops them from cooking. And they're perfect. I have not boiled an egg in a pot of water with a whole bunch of water since I bought these. And I make deviled eggs at least once a week sometimes twice a week especially in the summer and i have only used one cup of water whereas opposed to if you had a big pot and boiled eggs you've used a whole lot of water and i just like those conserved things so when you get ready to wash this when you're completely done it's cooled down you take out your trivet take this pot out and then you just wash it now you never ever put anything down in here uh, because you, it'll, it'll completely mess it up. You put the pot in and then you put your, your fluid and things in here. So you would wash this and let it dry. And then on the lid, there is a seal. And it's very easy to get out. And there's a little ring. Let's see if I can do it without looking at it. I'm going to have to look at it, y'all. There is a little ring that holds this seal in. So you take this seal out and you wash it and then you can wash underneath the ring. These you can put in the dishwasher. But when you get your pressure cooker, read the instructions because every company it has a different way that they want you to treat their product. But these can be put uh, through the dishwasher if you want to. But I like to hand, I just hand wash things. I like, it's good therapy. But you wash this ring as well. And when you get ready to store it, you don't put the ring back in immediately. You put the lid upside down and you put the ring just like that because you don't want to trap any smells because you don't, you don't want to do something that had onions in it and then the next thing you cook, you didn't care for onion smell and so um, you just want to do it like this so it can air dry better. Now it does have handles on it. Let me show you this. This lid does have to get this out of the way. This lid does have a handle. This handle is only for loosening and tightening. It's absolutely not to carry. That's not what it's designed for. You're tempted to because it is like a suitcase handle, but don't do that. Carry it and move it with these handles, but do not move it whenever it's cooking. You just want to leave it alone. And there are so many buttons. Y'all look at all these buttons. And I'll read a little list of all of these buttons, but you know, we have our favorite 
a burner on the stove and I, I have my favorite button. But you have a meat and stew, beans and chili, rice and risotto. And the other day when I cooked rice in it, I had brown rice and I just pushed the rice button just to see what it would do. And because it was brown rice, it took longer. So I let I took the lid off and let it kind of relax. And then I put the lid back on and sealed it and shut the vent. And then I cooked it for three more minutes and, and it was good. You can also make yogurt in these. Uh, there's a dessert setting, uh, soup, slow cook, and saute. Now I have sauteed in it with good results. And basically, you know, if you're gonna cook something that calls for sauteed already, uh, onions or, or whatever it is, I just put my oil in the bottom and I put my uh, onions or whatever it is in here and push the saute button. And then you cook with the lid off and you can just do your business like this. And then whatever that is to your liking, you put the other products in there, make sure you have a cup of water or broth, and then you secure the lid and push the button for however many minutes you want to cook. Y'all, I do love both of these. If I had to choose one and I could only have one, I would have this one only because of the size. And the reason I bought the crock pot instead of the Instapot brand, I bought the crock pot brand. Crock pot has been in business for 150,000 years and I trust them because they've been in business for 50,000 years. And so that's the reason I did get the crock pot, but I wanted to compare the two. But I, I do like both of them and I'll put a link at the bottom uh, to some information that if you want to read on those, it's a link that'll take you to an Amazon uh, account but you can read about these. But if you just hang on tight, I'm gonna go pin my hair up and then we're gonna get to making some pinto beans in this. So I'll see y'all back in just a little bit. 